This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We are at the UK Nationals 2022. Uh, we've got an interesting deck profile here. Not one that topped, but one that was uh, really cool, so I wanted to get it on here just to showcase for you guys. Uh, I think you still finished on a reasonable result in the end. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was X4. Um, didn't think it would be going that well, um, but hey-ho, Zombie World is an FTK X half format. There we go. So yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, sorry, tell us your name then. Uh, uh, so my name is Toby. Um, I've been one-tricking zombies for about four years now. Um, uh, Punk's come out fairly recently. Um, it got the boost with Deer Note. I thought I'd have a look into uh, to uh, implement that into the deck. Obviously, the applications of cards like Chaos Ruler and Zombie Vampire. Being able to mill upwards of like nine cards in a turn in a zombie deck can win you a game on its own. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. Well, uh, yeah, before we get stuck into the profile, guys, if you are looking to pick up any Yu Gi Oh! singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Use the code RUFIO15 for 15% off. Now, before we do get stuck in, I do just want to know apologies about any weird glare. We have been condemned to this room to do any profiles, so unfortunately, I couldn't film it in any better line. And also apologize about any noise in the background from music and things like that. Again, we're in like a canteen, so we're doing the best we can. Apologies about that. But anyway, let's get stuck into the profile. Okay, cool. Take us away when you're ready. Yeah, so I'll, I'll obviously start with the main deck. Uh, starting with the big kind of power engine of deck, the zombie cards. Uh, we ran two Doom King. Uh, this card is absolutely insane. Um, the applications that this card has in the deck is obviously it's one of the best cards printed for zombies. Uh, having a negate and a banish uh, on both players' turn uh, to just clear up both the field and uh, graveyards if needed. Um, it being once per chain does come up a little bit, uh, it's a bit annoying, but uh, if you manage to get two on the field at the same time, there's a, a niche kind of interaction, you can uh, activate one, um, you don't have to declare which effect you're using as well, so you can activate one, not give your opponent the idea of what effect is being activated. Uh, if you manage to have another zombie activate as well, you can then chain the second in the same chain, sure. uh, using the separate effect, but um, it just puts your opponent on the kind of... Uh, are they banishing or negating first? And then, obviously, uh, you can just break boards with this card alone. Sure. Um, next up, uh, Triple Yuma Zombie, uh, one of the best zombie cards ever printed again. Uh, get one from deck, uh, back to grave uh, is insane, uh, as well as you know pitching a card from your hand, uh, whether it's Mizuki, Banshee, uh, a danger as well. Does everything. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, obviously, uh, Triple Banshee, uh, you just need, need more ways to get into the uh, zombie world. Uh, I made the, um, the choice to play uh, very little spells, so stuff like terraforming or cards that you'd expect uh, aren't being played. Um, but yeah, uh, quick effect, banish from field or grave, get zombie world directly to the field. Um, and e even if it's on field, it protects the zombie world from destruction and targeting, so that's a very nice help as well. Uh, next up, we have uh, possibly the best extender as well, pretty for zombies uh, is Mizuki. Uh, not once per turn, banish it from grave, summon a zombie. Yep. Um, with Zombie World, everything is a zombie. Uh, the amount of times I've caught opponents off by going Mizuki target Baron the Fleur, uh, get another pop, get another negate. Sure. Uh, it's insane. Pretty good. Um, uh, and then we'll go for a couple of one-offs. We'll go for uh, one Gozuki uh, and one uh, Changshi. Uh, so this is a super that came out in Dimension Force. I've been explaining it as like uh, a second copy of uh, Gozuki, but with a little bit of different application. Um, you can banish it, uh, and when it's banished, you can uh, banish a zombie monster in your graveyard. Again, that could be any card with zombie world on the field. Uh, and it will summon itself back, and kind of like the, kind of like the Shudo, it will uh, return itself to the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. Yeah. Uh, Gozuki, Send one zombie monster from deck to graveyard, already an amazing effect. Uh, if it's sent to the, from field to graveyard, or just sent to graveyard in general really, uh, you can banish a zombie uh, and summon a zombie from the hand. Yeah. Um, uh, again, it's just a really good extender. Uh, I don't think it's good enough to run at two, um, but uh, again, it's just really good. Uh, another one-off power card, Glow Up Bloom. Uh, summon a Doom King directly from the deck, summon a Changshi for extension. Uh, this card does way too much. Um, yeah. I don't think it's ban worthy or limit worthy or anything. Uh, it's not that broken. Um, but, but it's pretty strong. Yeah, mill it off of uh, Zombie Vampire, Chaos Ruler, while you've got Zombie World on field, free Um 
uh, next we'll go into the punk engine. Uh, you see a lot of this around in the game right now. Uh, it's two Xiamen, uh, three Foxy Chain, uh, one Ogre Dance, and one Dino. It's fairly standard. Um, the uh, the Xiamen, um, uh, keeping it at two, you don't really want to open it. You want to really summon it off of your e telly uh, sometimes off of Foxy Chain. Uh, same with like kind of uh, Ogre Dance. Ogre Dance searches you kind of any non level eight. You're either going to search Deer Note for a couple of weird interactions in the deck or Xiamen, uh, Foxy Tune being able to just summon from the deck and pitch uh, Banshee, uh, Gozuki, Mizuki, anything uh, for extension of the zombie plays, it just works too well. Yep. Um, I had a couple of weird interactions with uh, Deer Note being um, a zombie in the graveyard, uh, getting hand trapped a lot. Uh, I would just summon a uh, Xiamen or uh, maybe a Yuna zombie. If, if I can get Deer Note to the grave and summon it back with Mizuki, that's just Chaos Lawyer in itself. Yeah. Uh, so it just lets you extend even more. Um, we'll go into the dangers. So we've got three Nessie signed by uh, possibly one of the biggest uh, YouTubers in the country, Yufafa. Shout out. Uh, and then uh, the Snick and the Jackalope. Um, they're just free extenders. They dig into your deck. They get cards out of your hand. Uh, they're almost perfect. Um, obviously, I wish that they would, you know... Uh, Unlimit snack, but you know it's not gonna happen. <laughs> snacks too good. It's just not happening. Uh, and then uh, go for uh, again some very powerful one-offs that you see in a lot of decks: uh, Fairy Tale Snow, Jet Synchron, and Scythe. Uh, Banish Seven Book of Moon. That's just enough to stop plays when you have a really good end board. Uh, Jet Synchron for good extension and Scythe for Scythe. It's fairly self-explanatory. Konami, please ban this card. Yeah, it needs to go. Um, and then we'll go for the hand traps. Uh, it was fairly simple, uh, not a lot. Uh, it was just triple Ash, uh, triple Veiler. Um, uh, Ash being a zombie um, to kind of facilitate like the zombie plays comes up. Uh, being able to uh, get ashed uh, by your opponent and just negate it with a Doom King as well is really nice. And Veiler is just a solid add off of uh, Chaos Ruler. Um, so your opponent, you know, you'll have to go against like uh, two Doom Kings, uh, Yuki Ona, and then knowing that they have Veiler in hand as well just makes the matchup like even worse. Sure. Um, and then we'll go into the spells. Uh, we're running two Zombie World. Uh, I've always run three, but I thought with the amount of milling this deck does, um, you don't want to mill all of your copies. Uh, you'd rather mill Banshee. Um, so you kind of de decrease the numbers to have it hit less. Yep. Um, triple Emergency Teleport, again, it's just another starter for uh, punk combos. Uh, I'm really annoyed that this one's not an ult either, hey ho. <laughs> so you can always do it later on. Yeah, uh, and then we have uh, Called By, Stop a Hand Trap, and Foolish, get you access to any zombie monster you need. Yeah, sure. Uh, so now we'll move on to the extra deck. Uh, I'll start with the Synchros. Uh, it is uh, one Baron, uh, very good negate, uh, very good pop, obviously. Can shuffle itself back, summon. Uh, a lot of people summon the Scythe back. Uh, I've been summoning a lot of zombies back um, just because uh, bringing bring back like Changshi, Yuna Zombie, or Gozuki on like a follow up to extend it even further and go into uh, something that you gain uh, is really good. Yeah, it gives um, you utility. Yeah, it's just a general good utility card. Uh, next is a is, uh, it's another level 10. It's fairly spicy. It's uh, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. This is one of the new ones, right? Yes, yeah, so this, this was an ultra release in uh, Daifo. Um, basically, just once per turn during your opponent's turn, uh, you can just target a zombie monster in your graveyard and just special summon it back to the field. Um, the, the times I would make this, uh, I would completely lock an opponent out of the game uh, because you can just scythe them infinitely. Yeah. Uh, every, every single turn, you can just bring back the scythe in the draw phase, trigger it, uh, and they're not playing. Uh, if it's in the graveyard, you can just banish a zombie monster off of your field and summon it back. So, even clearing it, like, it's still going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, uh, Chaos Ruler. Mill five, it's zombies. Hit three Mizuki, you win the game. Uh, bring it back. Uh, you can make an even spicier card in the extra deck uh, with the Doom King. Uh, I'll show you that later, obviously. Uh, and then we have the help targets. We have a, a TG Wonder Magician. Pops the scythe, quick synchro into either Red Eyes on the Lord or uh, Baron. Uh, it's really good. If it's popped for whatever reason, you draw a card, which is just nice and advantage. And the other one is Formula Synchron. Um, Again, draw a card. Uh, I had a game where my only monster on field was uh, a Hulk. Uh, made this uh, just on the whim, like if I draw a hand trap, what do you know? I drew Ash. Ash, my opponent's water enchantress, won the game. 
Um, but yeah, it can sync with the uh, Doom King or uh, a Chaos Ruler into a, a Baron if you need to. Um, so it's just more pressure. Sure. Um, then we have two Xyz monsters. Um, the Zombie Vampire is obviously just uh, another mill. Uh, you can just use the uh, Chaos Ruler on a Foxy tune when you chain block with the DNO uh, to get another four cards in Grave. Uh, you get a free summon. Uh, normally it's a tuner because you'll go straight into Halk off of this card. Uh, that will bring you either out the Jet Sync Point or the Dollar Blue for extensions. The application of this card is insane. I had one of my matches, I can't remember what it was, um, I think it was Punk Bray, where I had used Sucker to summon back a, a Veiler to his field, um, made Z uh, Vampire Fascinator, took his Sangan to my field, um, tributed the Fascinator, took his uh, Veiler that I'd summoned, and overlaid them into this, because it doesn't... <laughs> Because you can just take both of your opponent's cards and make a level eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, the next XC is uh, Zombie Stein. Uh, no one is prepared for this card. Uh, 4,500 attack. That's just a problem on its own. Yeah. Uh, it's an XC's pop red. Um, you can detach and discard, which again is good for zombies. Target a card on field. Switch to defense and negate it. Um, this uh, clutch me so many games. Respond, being able to respond uh, to cards like uh, Droplet and Dark Ruler by chaining an E-Telly and then using links. Uh, it saved me uh, a lot. Next we're going to the links, uh, so access code to clear up games, clear up boards. Yeah. Um, even though I didn't really uh, use it to win any games, I used it to put a lot of pressure on people. Um, I had a Despier opponent uh, where I summoned this without any links, um, so he didn't get an attack boost, but he was forced to mirror jade it or I'd clear his board. Um, another link for it is Yukiona. Uh, completely ends um, Fluanderies. Completely turns off their recursion because their banished monsters are just blanket negated. Mm -hmm. uh, it's twice per turn, permanently set an attack to zero and negate the effect when a zombie, when a monster is summoned from the graveyard or a monster effect is activated in the graveyard. Sure. Um, have this on field, uh, trigger snow, you can book something and negate something. It's insane. Um, a lot of people sleep on this card, but it's really good. Um, then we'll go to a uh, link three, it's Fascinator. Again, on summon, take a monster out of your opponent's graveyard, uh, contribute uh, either itself or just another vampire, take control of something, uh, lets you go into uh, Yukiona really easily or uh, Zombie Vampire if you want Nils. Dagda, Set Scythe, um, yeah. self explanatory. Um, either this card or Scythe needs to go, but the correct kit would be Scythe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have the Hulk, um, pairs well with the Dagda, or obviously get the uh, side pop for you. But it also uh, works so well, you have so many tuners in the deck, uh, Jet Synchron, Unizombie, uh, Summer's Bloom from the deck. Um, like, you normally turn like this in the Bloom into the Fascinator. Everything kind of works really well together, and it's just really nice. Sure. Um, two generic zombie links uh, is Avengered and Sucker. Uh, going second, I made Avengered a lot just to get a free dump for cops. Yeah. Um, in the damage uh, step as well, or damage calc, I think. So it's very hard to negate. Um, and then Sucker just gives you applications for more draw power. Um, there was one match as well. Um, the uh, first effect that uh, people forget with Sucker is that um, if your opponent has zombie monsters, you contribute their monsters for the summon of a zombie monster. So I essentially uh, cleared up, I think it was a, um, a Baron and a Hulk by going uh, Mizuki bring back Sucker, activate as Omni World, and then I just made Doom King with their monsters. Uh, it's really good. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Relinquish Anima. Uh, you can turn a Jet Synchron or a uh, Glow Up Bloom into this. Yeah. Um, if your opponent has bad card placement, you can punish them with it. Uh, if not, uh, the likes of like Jet Synchron, you can go straight into a uh, Hulk from here. Um, it, this card alone, I didn't get to suck up anything, unfortunately, but just the existence of this card in the extra deck uh, allowed me to scythe lock a lot of people sure. because it was the extra card I needed. Uh, and so we'll go on to the side deck. Um, so I, I just sided generically for the event. I didn't really target any specific decks in total. Um, but as it's a mid-range deck, I thought uh, a card like Pankratops would be really good. Uh, so free summon. Um, can, it has a nice attack set so you can start clearing stuff out and then it'll pop something. Uh, it clutched me a game against Sword Soul. Um, because I just managed to clear a board and then evenly them at the end of the battle phase because I had nothing else on board, so that was really funny. Droll and Lockbird, uh, again, uh, it doesn't hurt uh, many of the decks, but with a lot of punk, um, you can uh, droll them after the, the Z Armin, and then cards like Chaos Ruler become a little bit worse yeah. because they just mill five, they don't get the add. Um, against Drytron matchups, uh, this, this card absolutely destroys. 
Uh, I faced a Zephyr player uh, round two, and this absolutely turned them off. Uh, so that kind of clutched me out of game on itself. So. Yep. Uh, following up uh, some back row removal, I thought I'd just play the triple cosmic. Uh, I was thinking about Twin Twister to um, discard like extenders or like snow or uh, zombie cards, but I thought um, you know the the combo in itself clears a lot of the cards on its own. Uh, so being able to just pay a thousand clear a card, banish it as well, which you know against matchups like Dynamorphia does hurt them. Um, and there were a couple of Dynamorphia, not a lot, um, but. Uh, just on the fear that you play against it, like this card comes in clutch. Uh, same with Scythe as well. You target a Scythe and they can't lock you. Dark Ruler uh, wins games on its own. Uh, obviously, it's, um, it's a little bit worse because there are a lot more times you can uh, find a way to negate it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not once per turn. So you open double of it, uh, you use one. If they negate it, you use the other one, their board's up. Harpy's Feather Duster, again, uh, decks like Dynamorphia, Eldritch. Um, uh, Sword Soul, when they set cards like Blackout or maybe something else, uh, Tidying for Dragonling, uh, it's just a nice double pop, or well, it clears everything. Um, it's just really nice to have. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we have Triple Evenly, um, really good card. You don't really need to uh, have your battle phase, you're not really setting up the game on board. Uh, so you can just Evenly your opponent and then do your going first combo, going second and make his two. Uh, and then uh, again, Dynamorphia and Lich specifically, you just reboot them and you win the game. Sure. Okay, so thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, yeah, so uh, shout out Tom Hards. Uh, he is possibly the best punk adventure player I know. Oh, um, he's been. Big accolades, it man a, over it here. Is, it is a big <laughs> um, but a lot of my testing was done with him. I faced five punk adventure decks uh, at this event, and uh, I won most of my games just because I purely knew what the cards did. Uh, shout out Chris Warner. Um, I learned the Drytron matchup purely off of him. Uh, Vanity's Ruler needs to be banned, I hate that card. Um, and then, uh, again, as Tom said in his profile, uh, shout out the Northern boys, Adam, uh, Dan, and Nathan. Uh, they helped with a lot of last minute testing for matchups like Despier and Player uh, Unfortunately, I didn't really see much of those, um, but I, I was pretty confident in those matchups. But um, yeah, well, other than that, I can't really think of too many. Uh, obviously, my brother as well. You know, Striker is an easy deck and I'll always be here. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I do really appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you're watching and you haven't hit subscribe already, you should definitely consider doing so. And I'll see you in the next one.